Well, plastic isn't just a litter problem. Um, we are concerned about climate change and human health and then social and environmental justice issues as well. Only about 10% or less of plastic is actually recycled. And our number one top contaminant in our recycling stream in the city of Roanoke is plastic bags. Plastic bags are actually not recyclable in our single stream curbside recycling. They can actually damage the recycling equipment by getting tangled up and they can actually hurt workers too that try to get the, those bags out of the equipment. So they are not able to be locally recycled. The City of Roanoke implemented the plastic bag tax not to generate revenue, but to help people to change their behaviors. Uh, we want uh, people to be able to take their reusable bags to the grocery store with them, to convenience stores, instead of uh, using single-use plastic bags. So one of the reasons why we implemented the plastic bag tax is that we're concerned about human health. In fact, um, we are consuming, each one of us is consuming about the weight of a credit card each week. Um, and that's equivalent to about 74,000 pieces of microplastics a year. Those plastics that break down and that are very, very small, and they get into the environment, they get into our food web, they get into the water. Um, and so we're starting to ingest them. They're found um, in our, our organ tissues, they're, they're um, impacting our immune systems and our endocrine systems. So it's something that we need to start being aware of and making changes so that we can protect the health of our families. More plastic has been produced over the last 10 years than the last 100 years combined, and it is increasing exponentially. Just last year, the plastic produced equaled the weight of the entire human population, and half of the plastic produced is just for single-use items, and the most common single-use items is plastic bags. And that's really why Roanoke wanted to implement this tax, is to try to tackle that problem and increase that behavior change and switch to reusable bags. Because each year, the typical family takes home 1,500 plastic bags just in one household. So we really want to encourage that behavior change and that simple action that can really make a huge difference. Every time I go to the store, I've got a bag. I don't have to think about it. Don't have to remember that they're in my house or, or in my car. And this bag holds about 40 or $50 worth of groceries. The good thing is that you make a decision every time you go shopping. And the goal of this tax is to not make any money from it. We want everyone to make that behavior change from plastic bags to reusable bags to help the environment and the health of everyone in the city. To learn more, you can go to roanokeva.gov slash plastic bag tax, and you can follow our social media at Roanoke Clean and Green to learn more about different ways that you can make a difference.